recent years, Portugal has become known for producing a certain type of player seemingly at will. The extravagantly gifted attacking midfielder. But despite lacking in truly world-class defenders, Portugal's team of champions is a force to be reckoned with. Vitor Baia gets the nod between the sticks. With 80 caps that span the entire 1990s, he's a more than dependable inclusion. And quite simply, you don't save keep 11 title-winning sides without being an outstanding number one. At centre-back, Fernando Couto has 110 caps to his name and was a stalwart in the defence for 14 years after his first in 1990. Ricardo Cavalho is arguably the finest Portuguese centre-back of all time with a combination of silk and steel. Though not particularly tall, he's immense in the air in either box and possesses an unnerving positional sense that consequently makes everything look so easy. On the left, still only young Fabio Contral makes this side not just on his achievements, but the potential for more. He operates further forward than many defenders, but providing attacking flair to a solid defensive unit. Whereas Jorge Costa or the tank provides a much-needed solidity to a side overly blessed with style. Costa captained Porto to both UEFA Cup and Champions League success under Jose Mourinho. Rui Costa was a magician on the pitch and one of the brightest stars of the golden generation in the 90s. A technically superb maestro who could place the ball on sixpence. The Brazilian-born Deco qualified to play for Portugal after six years with Porto. Despite the call-up being criticised after scoring on his debut against none other than his homeland, it was obvious his ability to dictate play and create opportunities were much needed in the heart of the midfield. Paulo Sousa was a suave and stylish enforcer who won the Champions League for two different clubs but persistently plagued by injury. Despite this, he managed to accrue an impressive 51 caps for his country in the heart of the midfield. On the left wing, the first of three golden boys, Luis Figo, the most capped Portuguese player in history, European Footballer of the Year and FIFA World Player of the Year, the leader of Portugal's golden generation. Is he or isn't he the best player in the world? Cristiano Ronaldo gives the analysts plenty to talk about. His stats at club level are phenomenal, often hailed as the most complete player with heading ability and buckets of skill and flair. A certainty for any Portuguese team of champions. And up top, Eusebio, known as the Black Pearl. The stats speak for themselves. 727 goals in 715 games for Benfica. 41 in 64 for Portugal. The shining moment, nine goals at the 1966 World Cup, where he almost single-handedly inspired the Seleção to a third-place finish. The 1965 Ballon d'Or recipient has been immortalized on stamps, in bronze, and forever in minds and hearts by all who love the game. This may be a team that concedes, but it's certain to score plenty of goals. Any opposing back four might as well pack up and leave. As we leave now...